Well, hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Tyler, and the Adult Ministries Pastor at Pathway, and uh, just coming to you this morning from my quiet, calm, restful home. And uh, actually, it's not really that at all. So I don't know about for you, uh, but for us, with our kids running around here, there's hardly a moment that's quiet and restful and calm. But I tried to find a little space this morning that I could sneak away to and just spend a moment with you to pray with you and just to encourage you again to jump in with us in our 30-day prayer guide. And just we want to really be a praying church in this time together. Uh, I don't know about for you, but again, for me, I think sometimes when we're at home, it can feel very disconnected. And it can also feel like maybe there's not so much we can do. There's not a lot of good ways to contribute to helping others or to being a part of what God's doing in the world right now. And yet we know and we believe that actually prayer is one of the most powerful ways for us to do that, to stay connected together and also to play a part in what God's doing in the world. We believe that when we pray, it changes us and it changes our church and it changes our world. And so we're excited about these 30 days of prayer together. If you haven't taken a chance to uh, jump in and check out days one or two, uh, I encourage you to do that. We're on day three right now, and Holly Lixon uh, has done a great job of just challenging us and encouraging us and reminding us of some things that we want to pray, got, pray about this morning. Uh, she had a unique emphasis today on the realm of mental health, and so in a moment we want to pray for those that are serving in that field as well as those who might be wrestling with their own challenges, with their own mental health right now. So we want to pray for that. And then I also want to just reiterate for you the scripture passage that she gave us to think about today in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. It's a great reminder that as we seek to uh, just be a part of the solution and be a part of helping others and be a part of what God's doing in our world, uh, our job isn't to fill everybody else or anybody else up but rather to pour ourselves out and to take what God's given to us and to use that to serve in whatever way we can. And so I want to read for you from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. It says this, that each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. And we're to do that as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. And that is such a great reminder. All of us have been given gifts by God and all of us have been given grace by God. That's not just for us, but he invites us actually to use that to serve him and serve others. And we just are to be faithful in playing our part. And we can trust God to do the rest. We don't have to do it all. And we don't have to fix everything that's broken. Uh, but God just invites us to play our part, our unique part. And then he will do the rest, what only he can do. So I want to pray for that. Pray for those serving in the mental health field. Pray for those who might be wrestling with their own mental health challenges uh, in this season, and just invite you to pray along with me and then to continue along in our 30 days of prayer together. So let's pray as we get started today. Lord God, we come before you. We thank you for today. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your work in our lives. We thank you that despite the many challenges our world is facing right now, that you remain king over it all. You are on your throne. Nothing has rattled you, and nothing can change that. And we just thank you that you're that kind of God. We humble ourselves before you this morning and continue to lift up our lives and lift up our world to you. Lord, as we do that today, as Holly's challenged us, we want to lift up a few things specifically. And uh, we pray, first of all, for those that are serving in the mental health field right now. Lord, we know that that comes with many challenges, uh, even just under normal circumstances. And yet so many of those have been escalated in different ways as we walk through this unique time and these unique circumstances. And so, God, would you just empower those that are serving in that field? Would you equip them uh, through your presence and through the work of your spirit with supernatural wisdom and supernatural compassion and care as they come alongside of others? And, uh, Lord, help them to be filled by your presence that they would pour out of a full bucket as they pour into others. God, we also pray for those that are maybe wrestling with their own mental health challenges in their own lives right now. We think of people that are facing depression and anxiety and many other challenges that can come with being isolated or alone or having uh, so many unknown uh, elements of our future and where all of this is heading. Uh, Lord, I just pray that you would meet each person, Lord, right where they're at, that you would overwhelm them with your presence and goodness that you'd give them the peace that passes all understanding, that you would touch them with your healing touch. 
in Jesus' name today. And God, I pray this passage that we read together in 1 Peter, that you would remind each one of us today that you, our God, our good heavenly Father, have given each of us gifts. You've given each of us grace. And you've given us the responsibility of being good stewards of all of that as we seek to serve you and serve our world and advance your kingdom. Lord, help us never to take on more than is ours to bear or to try to fix everything ourselves or bear the weight of responsibility that's bigger than what you have for us. But instead, Lord, help us just to seize our own unique contribution, to be faithful with that. And as we pour ourselves our, ourselves out, Lord, we pray that you would do what only you can do in using that and doing more than, with that than we could ever ask or imagine. God, we pray with confidence and boldness. We're so grateful again for you. Help us, Lord, to continue to be a praying church. And as we humble ourselves for you before you in that way, God, would you show up and work and move uh, in incredible ways. And we'll give you all the thanks and all the glory in advance for the things we know you're going to continue to do. We love you and we praise you. We pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. Well, thanks again for spending a few minutes with me today. I encourage you to be prayerful throughout your day and to continue on this 30 days of prayer journey with us as a church. We believe as we're faithful in that, we're going to see God be faithful in doing so many good things in us and through us throughout our world. So we love you guys. We miss you. And we'll talk to you later.